Hello, everyone. Welcome to this wind power engineering webinar, wind turbine reliability, the importance of highly reliable pitch control and blade sensing systems. Uh, joining me today are uh, Nick Harper. He's uh, Moog's application manager for blade sensing systems, and Steve Black. He's Moog's senior business development manager for its components group. In the next slide, the ice detection solution, if you look at the left-hand side, you can see that the system works in two ways. On the left-hand side, we see that, the, that the, the, uh, the system is working under operational conditions. In other words, the turbine is rotating. Look carefully at the blade, which is, has the blue dot at the root of the blade. This is the typical location of one of the optical sensors. Right, in this, in this slide, this looks a little bit busy at first. Um, we're looking here at a comparison between um, turbine rotating in uh, dynamically at first, which is the blue information, and then on the right-hand side, we have a turbine which is stopped. So let's first look at the blue data. As you notice, the turbine at day two was, was, was rotating with no ice condition, but slowly over a period of day, a day and a half maybe, the blue information is slowly going up, showing that the turbine is now building up ice on the, on the, on the blades. Looking at the slide, the final slide, slide 12, we can see the various components of, of the monitoring system. As I mentioned previously, we have the, set, the, the optical sensors installed at the root of the blades. These, in turn, connect to the interrogator unit in the hub. If you look at the picture in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the interrogator mounted in this particular instance in the root of the blade. First of all, to set the stage, the, the critical nature of the slip rings in, in the pitch control application is the slip ring is mounted in the back end in the cell, but it's at the end of the gearbox, most typically, if there's a gearbox, or directly in the center of the generator if it's a direct, uh, direct drive system. The slip ring is responsible for conducting everything that's happening out in the, out in the hub, everything that's rotating the controls, all the power requirements out in the, uh, in the hub. Also, would be, could be involved with the rotor monitoring solutions that Nick just talked about. But the slip ring is, is needed in, in the turbine to be able to transfer everything that's rotating in the hub back to the stationary portion of the control system. So as you can see, it is a quite an important part of the operating system. There are three primary contact technologies used in, in slip rings today. The, the Probably the oldest technology and one that is quite prevalent in pitch control slip rings is shown there in the top of this, this graphic, and it's the composite brush contact technology. Composite brush is just that. It's just a, it's a type of brush that you would see in a, in a brush type motor or on the alternators or car where it's, that is a uh, chunk of metal or graphite pressed material that, acts, that runs in contact with the ring surface. This slide shows a uh, couple of different designs. The one on the left is a monofilament wire type of design. And as you can see, the rings there to the right uh, utilize the, the wires in the V-grooves but there are multiple wires and a wide ring with many V-grooves in it that would be used for power. And as you can see, over time and operation, the, the lubrication that's used on the rings kind of becomes a magnet and attracts and holds a lot of dirt and debris in contact with the ring. And lastly, you know, one of the things that we have learned over our years of involvement in the wind industry is uh, the demands are not going to get easier. Uh, in fact, they're being taxed more and more as to the, the power requirements, the locations of installation, the, out, the heights. Um, everything is just getting more and more demanding. And you have to have the electrical contacts and the, and the designs to keep up with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that just about wraps things up here. I want to thank you very much. Uh, if you'd like to follow us through, you can do so on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, and you can discuss this on the Engineering Exchange at engineeringexchange.com. And uh, that's it from the staff here at Wind Power Engineering. We wish you a good and productive day.